G'day. Today's the day we're connecting to NBN. The technician's already been out onto the street and um, changed the wires over. So the first thing I have to do is to remove the home phone from the kitchen. That's the main uh, digital transmitting phone. It's, it's got several other stations in the bedroom, in the, in the garage, in the office. I have to remove that and put it up in the office where the NBN is going to come to a new modem. But when I've taken this out of the wall here, I've discovered it's got an ADSL inline filter splitter. And I just Googled that on Google and discovered we've got to remove the splitters. They're no longer needed. So I'll be taking this phone, take the splitter off, and installing that into the new modem in the office. Now the mobile phone that I had in the office will now come into the kitchen and that'll be the kitchen base phone but the main phone that, that records all the incoming messages will be down in the office so we'll have to go to the office to receive the messages. So that's one of the things we've got to do today and uh, God willing it'll all work at the end of the operation. The next uh, stage of installing your NBN is obviously getting a modem and uh, Telstra, who we went with, sent along a Telstra TV box, which is a facility we're going to add to our television, but I'll do that later, and also this gateway connection kit. So we'll unbox that and uh, hopefully find out all about it. There's an instruction guide, a quick start guide, gives you your Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password. So you've got to keep that. That's a fridge magnet. You can take that off there and put it on your fridge. And here's all the instructions on how to join up when they give you the instructions from Telstra. But all the um, technical supports there, you can phone this 1800 number or a questions number in English. Both of those are in English, but you can get other languages, I think. Um, welcome to Telstra TV. So there's a little guide on how you can use this other equipment with your television. Then you need to unbox your uh, modem. Take it out of this elaborate packaging. Beautiful packaging it is. And that's it. Um, you, you end up standing it up that way. But to uh, hook it on to the various things you've got to put this at the bottom out. And in the bottom you'll see are all the little plug holes to put the various leads in and uh, then you once you get them in there you can stick them back up the bottom on like that and stand it up so you got a, a one to connect it to the wall socket a lead to connect to the wall socket a lead to connect it to your telephone and a lead to connect it to your computer and a lead to connect it to your PowerPoint. So it also has a sequence, the way to do it. Uh, one is your wall socket, two is to your PowerPoint, three is to your devices, your computer and your game console, and also to the Wi-Fi. So there you go. Nice, easy to follow instructions there. Then in the bottom of the box, you get a power, power lead to hook into your modem, you get a, a cord to go to your telephone I think, the grey one, yes, the wall phone socket goes straight to the telephone. You've got to have a digital telephone, you, some of the old telephones will not work, but if you've got a digital phone you should be able to get it working with that wire there. And then this is the wire you'll need to collect, connect it into your computer. So there's all the material in the box. If you've got a ADSL uh, filter in your telephone line, remove that. Um, you don't need your ADSL filter because it'll block the signal. But uh, you will need this new cord in there. Plug it into the modem and then you follow the instructions on how to connect it to uh, the internet. When you come to connect up your new modem, got a new modem, it's got to replace that old one up in the corner there. So you've got to disconnect the old system and then uh, 
put the new system and in my case it's a pretty difficult situation to get into so excuse me while I, I do some acrobatics and uh, crawl into some strange places <sighs> taking down the old uh, modem turn it off and um, remove the plugs we now have separated the old modem and that can go into the dump probably now the telephone currently goes through a, a, a lightning inhibitor on the power board so we've been advised to remove that don't go through the lightning inhibitor so I'll take those wires out of the power board and the other thing we've been told to remove is this ADSL inline filter or splitter that allowed you to have uh, ADSL modem and a local phone line in it so take this take those splitters out of the line you know, I have to get down in here and disconnect it from the wall as I said it's a difficult place to be but I got it <sighs> eventually got it. More wires to discard including the splitter. Got to go. Go back to the instructions on how to connect the gateway and one says wait until the connection day before installing a new gateway. You've got to read the warnings on the other side. You can't have many alerts etc. Uh, alarms in here. Unplug any existing modems, we've done that. Telephones and other devices such as a fax that use the telephone wall socket. We we'll guide you through a fresh install using a Telstra gateway and the cables are in the box. Um, access the ports, pull the bottom down away from the Telstra gateway box show you how to do that in a minute. Pick up the cable with the grey plugs on the ends matching the colours and the names. Insert the grey plug into the grey DSL port on the gateway. Insert the other end into the wall phone socket. We'll do that first. Here we are here and I showed you before you to get to the ports you've got to take the bottom off and, and see the different coloured ports on the bottom of the modem. So we're going we're to do that now. All colour coded, but simple for people like me who need a bit of guidance. So unravel the cord, and we're going to put one end, one end into to grey one, into the modem in the grey socket. Easy to do. You can see which way they go. Push in until, click it in until it goes in. Um, there we are. It's now clicked in. Now I've got to get that down to the wall socket. Straighten the cable out a bit. Use my backside as I go down the wall socket. That is now in the socket. Next thing is it says number two. Read the instructions. It says power the gateway. Turn the power cable into the Telstra gateway and plug the power supply into the wall. Make sure the power point is switched on. Again we put the power in the power socket. So the power socket is now gone in. Plug in the other end. Um, and turn it on. Wait for the online light on your Telstra gateway to turn solid green. This could take up to 10 minutes. To connect via Wi-Fi on your device, smartphone or tablet, 
select the Wi-Fi name printed on the Wi-Fi fridge magnet. So we'll see if it's Wi-Fi applicable now. To collect via cable, insert the yellow LAN plug into the yellow port on the Telstra gate and insert the other one into your device network. Okay, so we'll do that. Take the yellow LAN cable. So when they say wait for the online light, they mean the little light at the top of the box and it's just turned solid green now so it's not the power light Wi-Fi is now on solid green the online is solid green and now we go to the computer and connect that with the yellow port LAN And the LAN is going in here, back of the computer. Now the telephone needs to be connected. The final instructions um, connecting uh, the phone. Plug your existing home phone into the green port where phone light on the Telstra gate gateway turns green. You'll be able to make and receive calls. Your gateway must be on to make and receive calls, then get it online. Okay, uh, the green port. Let's have a look at that. With a new phone line. Got it. Must have been that cord. So that's now the phone hooked up, isn't that good? But we'll first of all check this system while we're here. Now we know that it says the Wi Fi is on, so we'll just check down here to see what we got. Telstra CF. 6FC 5G CF36FC is there. Go to connect automatically, it says connect. Getting information from Telstra. Here we are, now they want a key. Um, the key is capital T the hallelujah that's connected to the NBN can only imagine what it'll be like eh? that's worth celebrating <laughs> now I'm going to go to the big computer and do the same Well, the good news is this is my story, this is my song. We are now connected to the NBN. Hallelujah. On both of them. You're on. Just a moment. I'll, I'll make this bigger. Hallelujah.